Hey, it's Alexei. Saw this video, this thing on C40 Cafe. Thought I'd give you this opportunity to build a quick tutorial on how to rig a mechanical arm, which isn't ball jointed. The guy said that the problem is that um, he wants this thing to rotate, for example, like this. But you know, if you just set up an IK, it'll be bending like this, and that's not right. Because here you have a separate hinge which rotates like this. So what we're gonna do is actually it's still an IK chain, but we're gonna let's figure out where the bend is. You wanna add a bend for the IK, it makes stuff easier. So let's go side view here. And let's go, where is it? Do -do 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 -do. Character joint tool. Joint tool. And control click there and here and then here. Now we want to select this joint and use the axis tool to make sure it's in center. And make sure this one is in center because the further away it is from the center, oops, the worse it'll be. So there you go. And this one is the last one. Probably turn on snapping or something, but for this demo, that's all we need. And turn off axis, otherwise you'll mess stuff up. Now, so normal tutorial, IK chain. And now we have a goal, we can move it, perfect. Now let's throw these guys into the right folder. So this, this, where is it? So this is our bend guy. Bend guy will be in joint one. Actually, let's do this a different way. Let's hold the shift key and we're gonna make a null, um, which is constrained to this. So PSR constraint. So this null will always be attached to this. See, PSR. And the target is this joint one. So let's drag this out. Let's call this joint one stuff. And drag our bend arm into there. Nope, our this one. Okay, so let's make the goal. Whoops. <laughs> so step one completed. Now we have the same thing for this guy. So holding the shift key, make a null, select this one, then select this one, then press shift C and add PSR constraint. And this is going to be called joint zero stuff, drag this guy out and stick our, this guy, yeah, bank rotate, sure, why not? Or, wait, let's see. Now this guy is only rotating up and down, right? Yep, so, bend, I think, yep, this is the guy, because that guy's gonna stay stationary. So let's move this guy in here. And now when we move this one, let's see what happens. Perfect. Okay, so now let's start by making sure, because right now if we rotate, the problem is this works fine because obviously I don't need to see these guys. Let's make this null a nice big triangle. So this works fine, we have correct rotation. But obviously if we move here, everything starts breaking. So let's quickly go and figure out what we need for this. Firstly, let's fix this guy, because this guy needs to orient towards wherever this subject is. So we're gonna go right click, character, tag, character, 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 no, rigging now, and constraint. And we're gonna go up vector. And we want this guy to pivot on the green axis, that's the one we're rotating around. So axis is plus Y, you can check down there and point with a plus Z. And he will be pointing to our joint goal. So now when the joint goal moves left to right, that thing follows. Nice, right? Perfect. Now this one though, starts kind of messing up. That's okay, we're about to fix that. The next step we need to prevent is we need to make sure that this guy, when he bends, this joint here, we need a pole vector, which is basically an up vector, but here we just add a um, joint pole, and this guy, we move him up here. And now, as you can see, this one will control the roll. So if we move this one over here, you'll see it twists. So what you wanna do is you probably wanna put this joint pole in here. And now when we move around, it still twists. So let's think about how to do that. 
we want the joint pole to be technically, I guess, under this thing, because that one's control which way it leans. So let's move it in there. And we just go here. Oops. Okay, so now when we move this guy around, there you go. See? Perfect. So, small steps. Now, the next step we want to do, you want to select this guy and go coordinates and freeze all. Uh, this is so that we, if we want to go back to this position, we can just go shift C and reset um, PSR. And it goes back to where it was, or this button, so we can keep rigging. Just a handy little tip. Also, maybe, actually, we probably should keyframe this stuff. Um, so let's set a keyframe for this guy here. Now let's move to frame 15 and move him up here somewhere. And keyframe that. And then let's move him sideways here. Maybe like here in keyframe. Whoops. Going to be on the next frame, so. Keyframe here. Okay, and well now we can, holding the J key, we can scroll through the timeline and see. I mean, honestly, that's almost works. Um, because, I mean, I know you should have this separate piece that rotates, but. I mean, you could probably. Let me think about it. Let's build this guy. So first, let's do the essentials. So this guy, this platform, this bendy thingy. So this is going to be our main guy. So let's rotate him. Actually, joint two goal. Yeah, that seems about right. So this goal thing, let's also make a null. Control click it, shift set, PSR constraint. So it's basically attached. Here you can see we have the basic PSR and PSR constraint that one and call this uh, joint two stuff. Drag to the bottom here and attach our this guy into here. So now when we rotate this, ta-da! But if we rotate this, that doesn't really work. So we need. So basically we'll. Let's figure out, that's probably not the right way to do it. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> um, let's, so there's joint two stuff. Let's just call this actually end piece stuff so we know where it is. We don't actually want, maybe we we want the position to take it from there. So let's turn off rotation and that. So this guy, if we move it around, so he'll get the, position from there, but the rotation should be with aim constraints, I think. So in this joint, let's make another joint. And let's pull this guy out forward here. So this will be our aim. And let's copy it and call this up vector and move it up. So now this guy, can use, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make another PSR tag, because, another correct character tag because it that way I know they're being evaluated in the right order. So constraint, drag it afterwards. This is gonna be aim. Nope, it's gonna be aiming at this wonderful object here. Good. And the up vector is going to be up. And it's gonna be on the plus Z, so that's good. And the up vector is plus Y, perfect, already that's it. There you go. And now when we move this, okay. Aha, position, not quite correct. Okay, but rotation, there you go. So see when we rotate this, okay. It can't actually, nope, that's incorrect because it can't do this rotation. So let's turn this, wait, let's turn, it's just the aim that needs to be turned off. So you see. So what we need, yep, incorrect up vector. What we need is we need the axis to be this plus x one. So axis plus x and up vector plus z. 
and it should be at the aim guy. There you go. So now when we rotate this, we get this rotating, but we don't get any other kind of movement. So this guy should be, there you go. So whenever we rotate this guy, we only get this kind of movement. And then what we do is we get this object here, which is our bank rotate. And here is where we attach an other up vector. So let's go rigging and constraint and up vector. And this guy is going to be rotating on the plus Z. So that's going to be the axis good. Yeah, okay, so this is right. And it's going to be aiming at, what's it going to be aiming at? Um, let's try aiming at the up vector and see what happens. I don't think that's it. So, <laughs> okay, so here's a problem. This shouldn't be here. This shouldn't need to get rid of the PSR tag altogether. Let's bring this guy back into our arm hinge rotate. So, rotate that. There you go. It's done. So now we can. So we can rotate him in any way. We can even actually grab this. Let's put the up vector underneath the aim. We can grab this aim guy, and it'll target it, see? And you can rotate the aim thing. So let's make this aim guy a little cube. Or box cube, where is it? Cube, there you go. Let's make it nice and small, there you go. So this guy, we can rotate him and target him as we want. And reset PSR if we need it. And now if we move it up and down, See, nice, that's what I'm talking about. Now, the only thing we're really missing here is, see, we have the right rotation going on. What we want is we want to be able to control this guy. So like this pole, we want to be able to control it so it leans like this, right? But for that, we need to somehow, because we need because this pole should be also controlling the rotation of this guy. So it's not meant to be in this one here. I think we need to LG this, because when you go LG, you make basically a copy of all the coordinates. And move this dude over here, and then move this joint over here. So now we still have this rotation, so that rotation is still working. But now we can control our pole. Let's make this guy something else sort of visible, like a star. So now we can control this, but we also need this guy to be able to rotate. So we need to get our rigging tag and constraint and up vector and so it's going to be rotating the plus z and with the plus y that's about correct so let's drag this guy in here so now when we move this say up here and we want to move it here so that aims correctly and this see and we get that thing rotating with it pretty neat right now the only thing that we're still missing is oh maybe that's it might want to control where these guys are because maybe something we got. But I think this gets you in the general right direction of getting some weird. This is just where the aim is. I'm not sure what happened. What, what's up with this box when I rotate it? Oh, no, the box is fine, it's just that thing's not following it quite correctly. Yeah, I don't really like the way that's... I feel like it's not quite the right way, isn't it? This is moving. Is 
something like this one if we I mean that's I mean that's correct right and we can rotate it ah see that that's the problem that's what I don't like this should be tilting um maybe it's the right way I don't know Anyway, you can figure out more complex ways of doing this. Maybe you can just make this a... Uh... Mm. I don't know. Um, if you need some more help, ask. But basically, I think this does pretty much the majority of the job, right? Probably would be nice if this thing remains platforming but basically yeah, now you can rotate the stuff and things rotate these guys i don't know when they will need to be rotated but if they do well you can always do the same up vector somewhere trickery